I'm Megan from Warm Glass and today I'm just going to take you through the new features on the SCUT touchscreen controllers. They are a little bit different from the old style controllers so I'd like to take you through some of the features and show you how to put your own firing schedules into them. So here you can see the display panel of the new controller style um, and in its idle state it's reading the temperature in the room here so it's quite a warm day you can see. Um, and then we have three options below here. So we've got menu, fire, and history. So menu is where you will find all of the options for changing the settings of your kiln. So changing Fahrenheit and centigrade and things like that. Fire is selecting your firing programs. And then history is where you can view your firing history. You'll also notice that the panel here has a Wi-Fi symbol on it. So it is possible to link this controller up to your Wi-Fi. Um, and download a kiln link app which allows you to see what your kiln is up to when you're not at home so you can see the status of your kiln um, while you're not there. So uh, if I press the menu button you can see it brings up a drop down menu um, and you can see things in here like data menu, diagnostics, adjustments. You can use your finger uh, to select the options on the menu here, but you may also want to use a stylus. I'll show you both. So if I select menu here, you can see you have lots of options here for adjusting the settings of your kiln. So things like changing from using Fahrenheit to centigrade, um, as well as many more things, um, resetting factory settings, things like that. So you would find those all under the menu section. Looking at firing schedules, so if you select the fire button, uh, you have three options in this section. So you have glass, custom or library. Um, under the glass section, that's where you would find all your traditional automatic settings. You have slump, tack, full, and then you can go down to, there's a casting schedule there as well. And then, so you would select one of these and then you can also select how fast you want that firing schedule to be. So you've got fast, medium, medium, slow and slow. And then you can also select uh, for whichever type of glass you're firing with. So we fire with bullseye, so we would select COE90 there um, so that that automatic firing schedule is optimized for bullseye glass rather than a different type of glass. So all of those automatic firing schedules are there and available for you to use. But I don't want to run the kiln yet, so I'm gonna go back just by pressing this home button. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to enter your own firing schedule into the programmer. So if you select custom, and I'm gonna use one of these empty slots, you've actually got 30 of these empty slots. You can see I've already programmed a full fuse in this top one here. So I'm gonna do a slump program into this empty slot number two. So we just select number two, and the first thing it wants to know is what do you want to call the firing program? So this is where it is really handy to use one of these styluses because these uh, letters are quite small. Uh, so I'm just going to call this one slump. So S L E M P. And then we just press save there. And it goes straight into programming the first segment. So the first ramp rate on a slumping schedule, I want to be 167. And then we press the forwards button and I want the temperature to be 670. And I want the hold time for 10 minutes. Okay, and then when I press the next button there, you can see I've got that one segment in there. If I want to add a segment, I'm just going to select that one and press insert. And what that's going to do, it's just going to duplicate that first segment for me. Um, for a slump schedule, I want three segments. So I'm going to do that process again. So select one of those and press insert again. And now I'm going to select that second one and I'm going to edit it. So I want my second segment to be the cool to anneal. So I'm going to do nine, nine, nine. So the next temperature we want four, eight, two. And then the whole time I want one hour. And then my third segment, I'm going to edit that one. 
and I want that one to be 83 to 371 and no hold. So there we go, you can see the three segments that I've programmed in there. So if you realize then you've made a mistake, you can just select the segment that you want to edit and then edit that. So it's nice and simple. So that's now saved. I'm gonna press the back button and you can either start the schedule, uh, you can look at the details, which is editing again, or you can have a little look at what the graph looks like for that slumping, so what the temperature would be doing against time. So I'm gonna go back now, and you can see when I select fire again, and if I go into library this time, so this brings up uh, more preset programs that you might want to use for other applications other than glass. So we have various different things in here, such as precious metal clay, and uh, under miscellaneous, you have lots of different options in there, um, like bead annealing um, and things like that, crystal glazes. Uh, so you've got lots of options there in your preset uh, firing programs. The last button here on the top menu is one called history, and here you can find what the last firing schedule was used in your uh, kiln. So you can see what the kiln was doing previously if you'd forgotten or you wanted to repeat something. Uh, so there you go, that's the new SCUT touchscreen controller. I hope that's helpful.